Hello, this is Les. Today I'm going to talk about the miniature model steamboat that I've built uh, over the years and more specifically about my miniature steamboat book that I wrote and started selling in 2014, 10 years ago. I recently decided to produce the uh, steamboat book in an ebook format uh, because the printing cost had gotten so expensive over the 10 years and more specifically the postage mailing the book had gotten so expensive to mail overseas and to certain countries uh, that I thought I was just going to change it and sell it as an ebook. The the ebook version uh, is a little different in that it contains colored pictures throughout the book. Where the original book had black and white pictures to save on the printing cost because it, it really increased the printing cost if I wanted to put the colored pictures in there. So that's, that's one improvement. And the second improvement is uh, the inclusion of an addendum with my later steam and, uh, steamboats and steam boilers. This addendum has close to a hundred pages. It includes the steamboats on this table right here. This is a steam launch. A lot of people will recognize this Clyde Puffer. And then there are two steamboats that are made from components in the original steamboat book, but with different superstructures. The addendum also includes some new boilers and one new engine. This boiler right here is an internal fired boiler, which is, is new. And then the vertical boiler in the background is a new boiler. It's slightly bigger, produces a little bit more steam. And then the horizontal boiler in the back, which also is a little bit bigger and has a uh, little bit more steam production capability. The first little boat in the book is what I call Little Toot. It has a wooden hull. It has the little one cylinder engine, single acting. Um, and it has, as you can see, a horizontal boiler. And the boiler is is fueled with a little sterno tray which doesn't want to come out of there. Okay, so that's the sterno tree. The second engine is the, I should say the second steamboat, is the African Queen and it has a sheet metal hull and in the book I I have the plans for folding out, cutting out the sheet metal and folding it and soldering it together. This boat has a little vertical boiler with a sterno tray made out of a bottle cap and it has a single cylinder double acting engine. So 
So the third steamboat in the book is what I call the beer horn tug. And this boat is a two-cylinder single-acting engine. And the boiler is, I, I guess it's a combination between a horizontal and a vertical boiler. There's a little a little uh, pressure cylinder in this sheet metal box uh, and it's heated also by a little sternal tray. And it has the small universal joint connector uh, to the engine or to the to the propeller shaft. This boat is unique in in uh, standpoint that it has a very large um, air volume between the hull and the deck. So if the if the boat is swamped, um, it won't sink. It it'll float. It's buoyant, um, which the other boats are not. Boat number four is a sheet metal hull. It has and a horizontal boiler with a sterno tray. This is boat number four. It all also has a metal hull. The sheet metal is from uh, those large metal popcorn containers that have a very thin metal. And uh, again, in the in the book, I, I have the pattern, <coughs> the patterns for the hulls to cut them out and fold them, solder them together. This boat also has a horizontal boiler and this one has a little alcohol lamp for the heat source and it also has a V4 engine Boat number six in the book is Weymouth Tugboat. And I forget where I got the plans for this. I mean, I didn't have complete plans. I believe I had some pictures and some uh, real basic profiles that I used to create the drawings. This boat is a wood hull. Um, it has the horizontal boiler and it has it also has the little uh, butane burner and it's internally fired. Um, the engine is a two-stroke double acting engine. These last three boat engines are all self-starting. Um, they will, once the pressure comes up in the boiler, they'll start bubbling and spitting and then they'll eventually take off. The configuration right here on the exhaust valve and the tube going up is to eliminate uh, moisture in, in the hull. 
because otherwise, you know, it has no place to go. So those, <clears throat> so those are the six steamboats in my original steamboat book. Okay, well, thank you for watching. Again, if you're interested in purchasing my book of plans with the addendum, send me an email and I will email back the instructions for, for payment. I, I use PayPal. It's worked real good in the past, I'm sure. Um, I'm sure you'll find it a convenient way to, to make payment.